welcome to MGP 472. I'm Kev and with me as ever the Sheepdog Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. 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 I think my goal this week was for from the moment our call started to start in the podcast, I wanted less time to pass than everyone else has experienced with the intro. I want to get to the point where we can do it in real time. I think it's like a 38 second song. And I think we missed it this week because Sheepdog and Anna started talking about whether or not Paul McCartney's dead. <laughs> which, if he di- if he's died overnight, it is Friday the 13th no, no. we're recording. In 1966, That's not what they were talking about. Kevin. I, no, I, I mean, I'm aware I've heard you both talk about it at length <laughs> at various I mean, points. I've I've managed to go the best part of what, eight years without bringing it up after you yeah, but... explicitly told me not to. And, oh. and Anna brought it up tonight. <laughs> And I was very good about being like, no, no, I'm happy to, I'm happy to crack on. And then you've brought it up again and again and again, and on the podcast now. I went down a very deep rabbit hole about it. It all started off with Avril Lavigne. I don't. And then no, I ended God. up at, at Paul McCartney. Oh. <laughs> it was. Um, I mean, it's not that deep of a story, though, is it? It's like it's a radio station in America. You talked about it for a long time. Well, apparently, in George Harrison's Last Stop! New Testament, he says it in there. Apparently, you can listen to this. <laughs> There's a song that if you play it backwards, it just says Paul is dead. Yeah. So, I, mean, oh, I know, buried Paul, God. I think it was. Um, <laughs> and will Paul come back as Superman was the one that was a bit weird. We had a week off last week, and now this is what I've come back to. You brought this up! <laughs> I was, explaining, I was explaining why I failed in my endeavour to to not have any conversation with you all that wasn't recorded. I want to I want to remove any uh, any suspicion that there's any kind of uh, friendly banter going on behind the scenes. I want to <laughs> save it all for the podcast. That's I mean, my I've new got two policy. To say about that, it is a good idea because Pab and I usually talk at length about what we've been playing while we wait for you two to turn up. <laughs> I <laughs> have record to record that. Kids to bed. We, no, well, I'm, not, I'm not saying you were late. I'm just saying we we meet up and talk about games before the podcast starts. Uh, and maybe we should record that and just slip it in after the the bantery bit. Um, but you know, after the advert, just stick Pab and I's conversation in. It would save us repeating it. Um, but then also, I guess Kev's trying to keep this strictly professional because he knows we've got a court case looming. And I thought you were trying to prove we weren't uh, co-workers, Kev. But if yeah, you... that's why I've not given any of you any money since last year. <laughs> <laughs> this is all on a voluntary basis. <laughs> Makes sense. So you knew that they were going to change the law on calling people bald, and you 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 knew the test case was out there, and your days were numbered, and you've been rumbled by the justice system, and uh, yeah, and now apparently if you call someone bald, it's sexual harassment, and that's it. Kev's Kev's. Wrecked. I mean, quite frankly, if we're doing sexual harassment cases against each other, Pab is going to have you over the coals. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he posed for those pictures. I don't really know. He was he asleep in most of them. <laughs> Only some of them. But uh, yeah, I don't think you should be the one bringing up sexual harassment. I mean, let's face it, Anna was a listener, so <laughs> I, I should have been cancelled by now. I'm very surprised. People have been cancelled for less. I abused my position. Of authority and uh moved a listener in i am a monster uh, so we're, I mean, we're, all, we're all getting sued by each other it sounds like or i'm getting keep... sued by two of you i'm pab if you count all the times you've tried to kiss him on the mouth who's i need i need someone to sexually harass me so i can get some money too <laughs> you to be able to get, you're trying to get a mexican standoff if, if pab can harass you then we're both like all three of us are mutually assured destruction but yeah um i mean those pictures are all probably not deleted they're probably all on my iCloud to be fair um i might just do it also Rebecca all over twitter and, <laughs> just throw my phone into the north sea if you google pab 1986 i imagine they all come up Oh no! Yeah, but they could never <laughs> prove that I took them. <laughs> I mean, they they could. They have the metadata in the photographs. You know how that you you did fancy computer of Bob yeah, things at know university. It yeah, you but know my how phone, this works. My devices have all got hilarious names or just you know gibberish names. It doesn't say like sheepdog phone. My phone calls me Batman because there was that thing years ago. Get your get your get your Siri to call you Batman, and I did it, and I don't know how to change it back. So now Jesus. all my devices call me Batman. When I when I connect my AirPods, it says Batman's AirPods. I've got Batman's AirPods too now. I've moved on. I've got Batman's Apple Watch, Batman's iPad. I don't know how to change it. You're just going I'm settings. Just, 
I mean, this is all a confession. If Batman's listening, he's got you on tape now. So you've got his iPad. <laughs> it's another I court have. case. <laughs> you yeah. cancelled left and right. It, it's brilliant. When we were on holiday last week, because I've got air tags in all of my devices, it'd be like, I leave, I leave my backpack in the hotel. We're driving away. Batman's backpack has been left behind. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, no, that's my backpack. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, Batman's those things wallet freak is no out. longer nearby. <laughs> I think you can just ask Siri to um, start calling you anything you want. You just say it. You just say, Siri, call me this. Hey Siri, start calling me Pab. What? Hold on, just see if she does it. <laughs> she's, just, she's struggling. Normally it would say like Still okay. On it. Okay, no, Batman. She is I will really now call struggling. you Pab. Sorry. Can't change your nickname on Apple Watch. Oh, oh. She can't change my nickname on Apple Watch. There you go. Got to yeah. talk to your uh, your phone. I mean, everyone who listened to this on speakers is now <laughs> got, got iPhones <laughs> calling them Pab. Um, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> hey Siri, set an alarm for four a.m. Stop being oh, God, mean. My phone's listening, and he's done it. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fool! I was looking at mine in a panic, but realised I've got headphones on. So it's all good. Oh, we have we haven't done the we haven't done the uh, this bit for years. We do this about every three or four years. It was Alexa do, last time. It People was. love it when we go through this phase. Um, God. we went on holiday. Me and Anna, we went to Disneyland Paris. We had a jolly good time there, didn't we, Anna? It was all right. I mean, it was you, jolly like good. You broke her. <laughs> she was texting me saying she'd done like 50 billion steps yes. and was physically wrecked. I mean, uh, she didn't. She did like she did like 20,000 one day. Which is, less, which is less than we used to do at EGX. She's just more broken these days. She needs a new spine. I mean, if anyone's a spine salesman listening, yeah. we are in the market for a spine. And buttocks. Or she like a, Batman. Didn't a he wheelchair. A wheelchair might be the logical next step. We've got Amsterdam coming up for TwitchCon. I might have to uh, push Anna around in a little trolley for the weekend. My that might um, be the solution. Yes, my back problems have reared their head, and it's really Literally rear. yeah, and it, it comes from really, the rear. Really hurts. Like I've never known pain like it. It's deliberating. It's awful. It's, but I was born I mean, with it, so. Can't Anna sit on your shoulders? I thought that was I the mean, point of getting a small partner you could carry around. Yeah, I've, I've given her the option to. The problem is she whinges about climbing up there. She doesn't like doing it. So I mean, you could get like a rope ladder that you just unfold. You could keep it in your hood and just unfold it as you climb up the rope ladder. Well, I proposed that we just kind of amputate from the hips down because yes. that's where all the pain is. And then I can just carry her around in a bum bag. But she won't let me get a bum bag. It was basically the theme of the week. I want a bum bag to keep my essentials in, and she won't let me get one. I mean, you could be like, this is a bit of a random reference, but the in in the uh, Legends Arceus, they've got that Pokemon that carries you around in a little basket, didn't they? And it could sit in the basket on your back. I want a bum bag. No this bum is my route to get in a bum bag. No, but they're they great. I can keep I can keep my wallet, my phone, my keys, my passport. I want I want to be driving away from places and my car turning at Batman's bum bag has been left behind. That's like the <laughs> pinnacle of awesomeness. I would fear that you would lose a bum bag by putting it around your waist. It would just get swallowed up and gone. I wouldn't. Wear, I'm not. I'm not a, a 1980s housewife. I'd wear it across my shoulders like a cool kid. I'm in the midst Is of a midlife thing? crisis. Yeah, I want to wear it like a. A wrestling belt over my shoulder. It's not really a bum bag, then, is it? It's more of a shoulder bag. The bag is still a bum bag. You just don't um, wear it on your bum. Just get a basket like the Pokemon and carry around in that. You can put the washing uh, in. I don't like to use my hands for things. Well, you wouldn't. You should be. You put your arms through it, and it should just be on your back. Mm. Should be poking, you know, peeping. Out then where do I the put back. my backpack? Siri's going to be forever on my back about it. Oh, it could oh, be in you the basket. Your backpack behind again, you idiot. And I could just cuddle it while she's in And I in could there. wear my backpack, I guess. Yeah, exactly. See, it all fits together. Uh, you okay. just let her out the basket when we're at the places. We go to Fortnum and Mason. She could just get out of the basket. You can go to uh, Forbidden Planet. She can get out of the basket. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. This might work. Anna, are you on board? I need to find someone to remove buttocks and legs. Just If you can hold on another decade, we'll be cyborgs. <laughs> It hurts so much. It's ridiculous. How much of the below the waist stuff do you actually need to stay alive as a human? Surely you could just 
be chopped off down there as long as you have some way for the turds and stuff to get out <laughs> um i mean we go we're going a bit off course here yeah, but let's... surely you can just get like hip replacements knee replacements <laughs> You know, yeah, but that sounds that like that sounds time consuming. It would be easier just to chop yeah, it all off. These days. And then I'll carry her around. My colleague got a hip replacement. And, she, and I was like, oh, you must be going to be off for months. She was like, no, I'll, I'll be up. But and the problem's the not her hip, it's her actual spinal cord. I don't think you can get them replaced. Uh, no, yeah, no, that's a problem. I just meant like a hip downwards to replace it all with metal. You'd be sorted. She'd be able to, I mean, she could get blades and become like those blade runners, not the film, um, <laughs> become an Olympian. Well, we're not. If anybody we're... listening wants to donate a spinal cord for Anna, we'll we are taking donations. Well, I when I went in, they said my back and bones were forty percent more worn than they should be at my age because of the problems. So Kev makes you run around events. <laughs> I do. It's all Kev's fault. <laughs> You did run at one point. It's the first time I'd seen you run since EGX. What that... were you running for? Oh, for the I don't remember for the why bench. you ran. <laughs> yeah, for the illuminations, <laughs> there was one bench left, and uh, there was another family with a pushchair walking quite quickly beside us, and Anna just sprinted. <laughs> and this was after her 22,000 steps, right at the end of the long day of the park. She just legged it. I knew... And I was like, what on earth is because, going on? Because it was I didn't know she could do that. Because it was raining, and I didn't want to sit on the floor for two hours. That's probably what broke you, doing your 50-metre dash. <laughs> Oh no! Every every step of that was painful. You shouldn't Just, have done it then. Did you want to sit on the floor? No, but you could have sent the child. He could have done it. Yeah, but he's not brave enough to. Well, then he is. He'll just lay down. He wouldn't sit down. I could have just. Yeah, but he was. He was wet. He wouldn't have sat down. I was happy to wacky races the push chair that was trying to go past us. I've got antics <laughs> I could get up to. I had a stick. I could have stuck a stick in their spokes. I always have a stick. Oh, we to did. Wacky no, we did people. share in the end. Yeah, didn't like that. You had to sit next to a woman for two hours that you didn't like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wasn't amused. Uh, but yeah, we had a jolly good time at Disneyland. I uh, I went to many, many, many shops, bought many, many, many lovely things. And I even found a Batman toy within Disneyland, which How? I thought was quite... Huh? They had Batman Lego in the Lego store. Uh, oh, and Disney Village. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I it was it was jolly good. And while I wasn't in the parks, segue alert. While I wasn't in the parks, I was playing Minecraft on my Switch. Minecraft's back, boys and girls! Hooray! It's nearly Minecraft season again, and uh, <laughs> this is how excited he is. I am excited. My I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to happen. You told me, oh, Minecraft. I mentioned, oh, we might be doing Minecraft soon. And then everyone was like, when? I'm like, I don't know. At some point, stop asking me. Well, and... <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to get a little bit of a flavour of it, playing it on the Switch. But I realised that I didn't actually download the update before we left the UK. <laughs> oh, no. So I spent the first evening in France trying to download the update, which I did. I managed to get it downloaded. But then my Switch got stuck trying to reset itself. And as it was resetting, it was coming off the hotel Wi-Fi. And it just got stuck in a loop. So I had to hard reset everything. And then I managed to play on the old version again. So I did like 10 or 12 hours of mincing from a, an entirely fresh world. Just doing all the stuff I'd done before. I dug a big hole. I dug lots of tunnels. Uh, you wouldn't believe where I spawned. It was like the reverse of where we spawned last year when we were playing in the playing in the realm. I spawned next to bamboo. Next to the bamboo, there was just a panda sat there looking at me. At yep. spawn, a bunch of birds the other side. I've got ice on the horizon on the sea. I've got a sandy desert next to me with a desert temple. I don't know if it's just a Switch thing, but my son's been playing it recently. And he started up and he was like, oh, I spawned in a jungle. And I just was shaking my head at him like you. Yeah. <laughs> First thing I did was took all this, um, took all the bamboo so the panda couldn't have it. And just... <laughs> took took it to the other side of the island and replanted it that's my bamboo i want that the only thing i've not been able to find is a village i'm like 15 hours in yeah he i've done everything either. but can't find a village it, he, perhaps the switch is just weird then maybe he was saying to me um he, he was gonna i'm gonna find a village and then he was just on it for hours and i kept saying right you gotta you gotta go to bed now whatever it is but like, i haven't found a village yet and i was just saying to him like, well there's bound to be one eventually but maybe i mean there isn't some weird thing where there isn't any on the Switch or something. There must be, mustn't there? There's got to Unless be there's some weird Switch thing where 
everyone starts at the same spawn point, maybe? I don't know. Perhaps it doesn't randomise spawn. I, I, I mean, that's plausible because it, you're describing his exact experience this past week, but uh, yeah. that can't be true, can it, surely? I wouldn't have thought so. We need. This is why we need a research team in the background to look this kind of stuff up while <laughs> yeah. we're recording. I want someone to wave a, a, bit, a pad of paper at me a minute saying, Kev, they do all start in the same place. Thank you, research assistant. That was much appreciated, but they're not here and we don't know. So that doesn't help. Uh, but I'm hoping it's the last time I'll ever have to play Minecraft on my Switch like a peasant because this week I finally, finally got the uh, got the the email from Steam. My Steam Deck was ready to complete my order. I complete my order. I did. That was two days ago, and it's still not dispatched. But my Steam Deck is imminent, and I am getting very excited about the prospect of just filling it up with all kind of goodies. It's basically a handheld portable PC. So as well as all my Steam stuff on there, I could fill it with emulators to get every Pokemon game ever made. I can put Minecraft on there. Theoretically, and I've not checked if this can actually be done, but theoretically, I should be able to get Xbox Game Pass on it. Streaming. This is, this is... See why not, yeah. Streaming, so... streaming works. I don't think actual Game Pass stuff. Um... But it's a PC. It should do. Yeah, but Windows isn't great on it. Uh, people have been it? using them for XL and stuff, haven't they? I know that's not what Kev was getting at there, but yeah. I have seen people yeah. set them up with multiple monitors and running all sorts. But either way, I am just going to fill it up with goodies. I, and this is going to be my new when I'm on the toilet or not in the house toy. I wonder, your comment about Pokemon, um, there is some data miners have found that there there's code that suggests that the switch is about to get all of the po old pokemon games as part of one of these online you know like they've got the snes the nes the n64 mm. um which maybe that's why maybe they've realized oh crap like this is a really really simple way to just grab all of these and we can't actually stop it because the files are so common you know you can't move on the internet without finding them so Maybe they've well, just yeah, realized... my uh, my network game associate worked the space. He got his a couple of days ago, and the very first thing he did was, look, I've got every Pokemon game ever on here. I never <laughs> need to touch my Switch again. Oh, you monster. But, yeah, they, they probably do need... Nintendo probably do need to counter it, because although it's theoretically not intended... I, I don't think it's intended to be a Switch killer. Um, obviously, it's not going to have gonna hurt the it, Nintendo first-party stuff on there, but... Yeah, it's gonna. I mean, I've I've sat I've been sat there this afternoon just cherry picking games that I feel like putting on it. I've got Persona Four Golden ready to go. Um, I've obviously gonna get some Pokemon's, gonna get my Minecraft on there. Um, but I'm just kind of picking through the entire Steam library. Do I want to put uh, Fallout on here? Do I want to have um, I don't know The Witcher? Elden Ring. Should I play El El Elden? No. Is that what it's called? Should I play that? No, you'll get I very could. annoyed with it, Kevin. You'll break your but Steam Deck. I, my point is, I could play it. Mm. I even got myself uh, Final Fantasy VI. Why? Ooh. The best because one. it was it was cheap. And <laughs> it's, I thought, well, I'll give it. You're Apparently, it's been all remastered with new sprites or something. So it. I thought, oh, <laughs> I'll have it. Yeah, but I just I want to have stuff to play on it, and it, this looks pretty. Um, completely new graphics and audio, apparently. Remodelled 2D. I don't know when this happened. Um, 23rd of February ago. this year, apparently. Yeah. So I, I've got I, that I, ready to go. I don't think I'd have the time to play a game like that on on outside of streaming. I don't think it would probably work on a stream, would it? Uh, an RPG? Not unless you only played it on the stream, I imagine. Yeah, exactly. And that so would be a fair. long... Yes. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to become a full-time streamer. <laughs> Just twenty four seven playing that through. Yeah, Twitch plays Final Fantasy. There you go. That's never been done before. Sure, it, it hasn't. Has. I think a fish uh, has but... played it before. Who has a fish? A fish, mm -hmm. but as in like. A... <coughs> oh, that was Pokemon. Wasn't fish. It? I know it was what it was some kind of game, yeah. but they put a there fish. Was just a f and like a fish everywhere that completed the split game split the bowl up into like if it swam to a certain bit it would press a if it swam to another bit it would move left or whatever and it, it just watched you watched the fish moved it made the controller move <laughs> and uh, yeah mo most of those twitch plays is just the character spinning around in circles for t 10 minutes and then suddenly going off in a certain direction and then flicking through a menu and all of that nonsense so uh 
I don't know whether the fish are completed it, but it is pretty amazing to think that there is potentially a fish out there that has completed Pokemon Yellow. Nice. Um, so yeah, I need some audience interaction. I've been holding off buying any of the indie games that have made it to Switch for the last year. I've not really bought anything on Steam for the last year because the moment the Steam Deck was announced, I decided to save everything and wait. So I'm like 12 months behind on any and all fun little indie games, the kind of stuff I've traditionally loved on the Switch and on the Vita. And this is where I need your suggestions. So tweet them at RB6K and he'll cu curate me a list and provide me with the best ones next week on the podcast. Good work, Sheepdog. I ain't going to read a load of tweets. They've got to tweet you. I ain't. I'm yeah, not, I'll do my best. Not, I ain't reading tweets. <laughs> what do you think this is? I'm not a secretary reading tweets. Why don't tweets. you get uh, like Final Fantasy fourteen and just live in that? I've been chatting to people this week who... Um, who... Um, I was debating to myself whether to tell a story that's a little bit R-rated, but uh, I don't know whether I could tell it in a way that would be child-friendly. Well, hold um, on, I'll take off my shirt while you tell it, so we'll split the <laughs> R-rated. This will no, so I've been chatting to this person who plays this game, and uh, they're telling me about all the cool things you can do, and it's basically got all these extra... Uh, in what game, sorry? Uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's got loads of sort of socialing socializing stuff in there like nightclubs where people go on twitch and their characters in the nightclub and there's a dj playing music and loads of people are in there and you get money and you build up your club and all this stuff and it's you know got its whole ecosystem of of, of socializing in final fantasy but, 14 um, online yeah yeah really but um wow. yeah you used to play this a lot oh, I did. yeah i spent a whole this? morning um crafting or something one morning for like so hours I've just yeah, I've just learned that, like, as well as playing the game, there's just this enormous online uh, society in there, basically. So they like to go clubbing in there. But um, somebody else was, was telling me that they make artwork for it, and, and um, they made a mistake of... They thought they were in their group chat with their Final Fantasy friends, and they sent a message saying, uh, I'm, looking for, I'm just looking for one more pose, and they used... That. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. You can edit it out if it's not right, Pab. Um, they said, uh, I just need one more free pose. Any ideas? And I was like, I'm probably being dirty. I'm assuming they've, they've only asked because this is not what I think it is. And I was like, what have you got? <laughs> Thinking they mean like Charlie's Angels. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other other three-part groups that are standing in poses. <laughs> they they replied with a picture and immediately deleted it. So I didn't see it. All I saw was a picture delete. And they were like, oh my God, I thought this was a private conversation with somebody else. And then it just opened with a can of worms in front of like loads of other people of, well, what, what did you mean? I thought you meant Charlie's Angels. And like, uh, again, that when there were three members of Take That, I was literally trying to think of trios. I couldn't think of, I was like, Huey, Dewey and Louie, Alvin, Simon and Theodore. <laughs> literally, my brain's immediately coming out of every trio I could think of. And it turned out they were making lewd Final Fantasy fourteen pictures, they which they sell. Apparently, they, they, they get people's characters, they make them these pictures, and then they sell them. And that funds this big nightclub fiasco and all this society. And they make millions out of it. And I was just like, and this exists in a game, does it? Like, what? But apparently it does, and it's lucrative. And they make lots of in-game currency for it that can fuel lots of other in-game stuff. And I was just like, wow. But they were obviously mortified. Uh, and we, it, was a good, it was a good icebreaker and quite a laugh. But <laughs> turns out I'm more innocent than I thought. And uh, I don't know whether anyone's hearing this story because Pab might have edited it out by now. I'm not editing it out, no. And I'm, I'm genuinely baffled how you constantly find yourself in these strange situations. I don't know if I just zoned out and I'm like, how how did you end up here? How did you find so, here? It was just a group chat and they Where? just casually asked. If I'd have just, you know, we have our group chat on Twitter about the podcast. If I just sent you a message going, I need a, I needed a couple more uh, ideas for, for the threesomes, threesome <laughs> pictures, you'd be like, what on earth are you talking about? I didn't think what on earth are you talking about. I thought nobody in their right mind throws smut like that into a group chat. They must mean trios and they've just used the wrong word because not everyone in this chat is a native english speaker so i was immediately thinking charlie's angels as i say the the, the ducks from ducktales the uh the chipmunks <laughs> i'm literally thinking of trios and then yeah no it wasn't what they meant it was a massive mistake because the worst thing about it is if I'd have gone, what do you mean? They'd have gone, whoops, that wasn't the question for here. But because I replied so nonchalantly with, what have you got already? 
thinking I won't go for the obvious ones like like the chipmunks. What have you already got? And uh, because I replied so calmly, they just assumed that I knew what they were talking about because they thought I was in the chat. They thought they were sending that question to. And so it was entirely my fault, which is really bizarre considering I was just replying to a direct question that was asked. Um, but yeah, Final you Fantasy just, 14. You are apparently a worrying, a worrying specimen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you playing 14 then? Sorry? Are you playing Final Fantasy No, 14? no, I'm, I was telling Kev he should no, play it. No, he's just looking at the porn bustling. in it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bustling game with a thriving community, so I just thought Kev might want to get in on it instead of playing Final Fantasy VI. I do like bustling and thriving. They're two of my very favourite things. And nightclubs and... and uh, tell smuts. you something else I've, I've bought ready. Valheim. Okay. Uh, see, getting them all, getting all the games. Have you checked any of these are actually Steam Deck? Like compatible. No, I just, I'm just yeah, assume they are. I'm just buying games. I've got unpacking as well. Oh, I've been saving <sighs> that one. You like that one? To be fair, good. That's on the Xbox. Um, I'm a, a little bit annoyed that I can't sort Steam in most recent purchases. So I don't actually know which ones of these I've bought and which ones have been on here for years. So there's probably stuff I've bought today that I've already forgotten I bought today and will never get downloaded. Surely you'll just load up Civilization. And, oh yeah. Uh, I'm just going to play the same games I play on my Football Switch manager. and my laptop and my PC. Yeah, it's going to be used the same way every device gets used. Apparently, it's just got a slightly better screen than my OLED Switch or my old Switch, as it always comes across of as in texts, because it changes OLED to old. And then it gets confused because I carry my old Switch with me as well as a spare, just in case. <laughs> I always assume you're getting Oleg, as in uh, the snowman. Um Oh, Frostpunk. I forgot I bought that like two years ago. I've never downloaded that. I could play Frostpunk on it. Oh, so did, much. Did so you many see games. that on the list or did me saying Snowman remind you? I got confused. No, I was, just, I was looking through the list and then I saw it. I was like, I remember down, I remember buying that Felt and like never downloading it. That. Yeah, there's loads so, um, of ga- I've got 306 Steam games. How has this happened? You are a bit of a moron who just buys things. That's what, That's how that's happened. I mean, about 200 of them are football manager, I think. <laughs> um, part of me is like there can't be that many but they're uh, they probably could be um, so I'm going to talk about games if you're finished are you finished? I, well, I've had enough for now yeah <laughs> um, I can't remember whether we were streaming uh, streaming whether we were podcasting after I completed Hollow Knight but I completed Hollow Knight um, foolishly I didn't realise I was at the end of the game and I completed it in like the first 20 minutes of a stream where mm-hmm. I started mm-hmm. slightly early and no one was about so that was a very anticlimactic way to finish streaming a game everyone came on how you doing sheepdog how's it going and I'm like I completed the game while you weren't here I'm sorry um, yeah I didn't know I was on the last boss no, people didn't want to spoil me on it people were like nah we're not going to backseat drive just play it we won't tell you anything um, and every now and again they'd say oh head in this direction because I'd get lost but they didn't say to me head over here and do the final boss they just said oh yeah go over there so uh, I was a little bit surprised when it all ended I was like whoops um, so I played a bit more of the final game on that like the, the post game um, it just gets in- incredibly difficult um, I thought oh you know I'm doing pretty well though I completed it I'm, I'm, I'm a pro gamer but then today I've watched somebody um, complete that end boss and the one of the super hard bosses in a mode that you you have one hit point and if you get hit you die basically so um they've managed to do the whole game without getting hit once uh not in, not in one run like the final boss took them like 65 attempts and i managed to slip in and watch the five attempts and see them succeed but they did like 87 percent of the game um because you get a cheat you depend on how many bosses you've beaten you get like a score um so i think i'm only at like 75 percent of the game completed at that point I think the maximum is 112%, but they've done two of the hardest bosses without a single sword touching them or anything. Um, yeah, that that game's just got depth on depth on depth on depth. It's insane how much is packed into it. And I'm a little bit frustrated that I want to play it all the time, but it's at the point now when no one wants to watch it. Now I've completed it. There's no one. Like I put it on the other day because I was playing a game I got onto in a minute, and that game wasn't very good in the end. So I switched back, and if, like people just filtered off i was like oh right, fine message received <laughs> um so i'm retiring that from streams but i'll probably play it in my own time which i don't often do with games if i stop streaming them i stop playing them but this one i want to keep playing because i'm just really enjoying it and i've joined the queue of people waiting for the sequel to come out they every time there's some sort of game event everyone's wondering whether it's going to be announced because they said it would come out at some point soon 
I think they're the creators is something like it's it's gotta be out eventually, isn't it? And it's like, well you're the people making it, so be be more precise. Um but yeah, that's been very cool. Um, everyone told me that o- Ori, Ori in the Blind Forest mm-hmm. was was a, a very similar game. And I feel like I was getting on with it. It was fun. And then I was doing a stream where it was a bit harder and I was starting to get a bit frustrated with the controls because I don't think it controls anywhere near as well. And uh, uh, Solo Knight, sorry. And... Um, but I was persevering because I was just not very good at games. I can't really blame the game when it's a popular game and it's out and it's been made by people who make games. Do you know what I mean? I'm not. It's not going to be them. It's going to be me. Um, but then I got to this point where I'd completed this kind of level, and all I had to do was put this orb in a tree, and then the tree would fill up with water, basically. And then you had to sort of flee the tree as quickly as you could while water was right up. And if the if the water caught up with you, you died. And I must have died on that like 20 times in a row. I just couldn't <laughs> Oh, do I've it. done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And <clears throat> you know me, if it repeats too much, I start getting sick. And I don't think I'm particularly aggressive on stream, but I did start feeling like I was being aggressive. I think I was getting angry at it. Like I, I would definitely call it a stupid game a few times. <laughs> I was just getting a little bit fussy. And I thought that never really happened in Hollow Knight. I'd be dying on the same boss like 10 times, but laughing about it because actually... I knew exactly what I'd done wrong. I'd gone left instead of right or whatever it was. But in this, it was just like, can't see the character. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I tried running up this wall and it didn't work. Or some t- there's like this move where you have to, if someone spits energy at you, you can pause time and then use the energy to bounce you in a different direction and fire the energy somewhere else. And the thing that was supposed to fire energy wasn't doing it. So I was just standing there waiting for it to happen. The level was filling up. And sometimes it happened, sometimes it didn't. So it just felt really luck-based or... The system just wasn't, I wasn't triggering it and I didn't know how to, but I just, I failed it so many times. I just said, right, I'm turning this off and I'm switching back to Hollow Knight and everyone was like, oh, okay. Um, and as I say then, I think that just made everyone think, oh, no, no, I'm not interested in this. So um, I stopped playing Ori. Uh, I've been told that Will of the Wisp is much better. Yes. I, I might fire that up and play it on my own and see whether it is. And if it is, then I'll, I'll, delete the save and play it at a later date kind of thing but um i did i ended up just trying to see what else i could play um <laughs> i did a whole vote and then ignored the results and played something else entirely which was a bit mm. stupid but uh i didn't cool. know that pulling a kev yeah um i didn't know that uh i i, I can't even say it i Uden chronicle rising was out and what that is um there's a so i've i've banged on about sukaden for the past decade of this podcast it was a jrpg series um it had all these wonderful quirks to it the idea of the games was that you would you'd start off as this one character and while you're doing the story of the game you'd also recruit other characters so you're kind of i think you're the son of a general on the baddest side of an army and you realize that your people are bad and you end up joining the the rebels and then you're just kind of going off on your merry way recruiting people for the rebels and you might meet someone who's like oh by the way i own a castle and it's like all right we'll all go around yours shall we and then you do up their castle and find a guy who's invented a lift and a guy who's invented windows and it's like they put windows in your castle and they put a lift in your castle and you can go upstairs and then there's a guy who's invented roofs and all this nonsense but it upgrades everything and these people join your army and they've all got abilities and it unlocks more of the story and if you've got certain people you can go certain places so it's quite a good way of telling a tale and so back in ps1 era these these games were epic and they were great and they made six of them and one of the beautiful things about it was if you completed sukaden one you could move your save to sukaden two and then characters who were still alive in sukaden two were there and all of this so you could have them in three and and there was certain sometimes i think it was just little things like you could pass a weapon on from sukaden two to three and it meant that you could then find this super powered weapon later on that you'd leveled up and done stuff with and just clever stuff like that but the people who owned the rights to that game i can't remember i want to say someone like Konami or Bandai, one of them, um, just didn't really do anything with it in the West properly. Like, it wasn't given the love it should have been given, so the discs were really expensive. Like, I think I bought, I think I bought it for, like, 60 quid and sold it for 90 quid. That's how, like, rare they were. Um, so though that series kind of died a death over, like, you know, 15 years ago or whatever, and the people that made it have got together and done this Kickstarter where they've said, right, we're going to make a new series called, I think it's called Ayuden Chronicle. 
or Aiden Chronicles. It feels uh, it's definitely not got an S on it. I'm looking at it on my desktop at the moment, but it seems like a weird way of wording it. But uh, that's coming out next year. And as part of the hype building for that game coming out, which is supposed to be this Sukaden successor that's going to have a lot of the stuff that you like, you know, so, so I'm guessing it's going to have that. Oh, there's because there's always 108 characters, I think it was the 108 stars of Destiny, their gimmick. Um, and if you got all of them, then you could like, I think you got all 107, and then it would bring back a 108th character who died in the story or something like that, who'd be useful and that kind of thing. So it's an incentive for getting all the characters. So Aiden Chronicle is going to be that successor with the loads of characters and the story that changes depending on who's been recruited and all that kind of stuff. And this Aiden Chronicle Rising is supposed to be a story set, I think it's like 150 years before that game that's not out yet. And the idea is you play this and you learn about the lore of the world and you kind of impact the lore of the world as the player. But I I read that, when I read that as the advert for the game coming out, I thought it meant like I would do stuff in the game that would be me personally affecting it, which felt a little bit hard for them to release a game that would do that for everyone, if that makes sense. It seemed, it seemed unlikely unless the save saves on my computer perhaps but um whatever the way they worded it sounded promising i just thought it'd be good to learn the law learn about the world so i got it it was on game pass i was expecting to buy it and then it just happened to be on game pass it's on switch as well um the game the game that's coming out next year is going to be an rpg like the likes of final fantasies and so forth but this is like a, a a very different it's like a platform game a 2d platformer with a bit of an rpg element to it my, I think I'm going to start with some negative points. It's very wordy, probably like this review. <laughs> I feel like I was just sat there clicking through conversation thinking you could have put this on one box. I could have read it immediately, but you've decided to do it in 12 boxes and I'm just clicking A, reading through it. And at first, sometimes I like to read what they're saying on stream, but I got to a point where I was like, this is too much text. I feel like I'm just reading you all a story. I don't want to sit here and read you a story. So I'd skip the conversation and then I'd be like, what am I doing now? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I feel like they need to maybe work on that if that's how they're going to do the next game. Um, I looked up feedback on it, like what reviews are like, and they did all say it's a lot of, um, what's the word? When you're kind of telling the story through, is it, oh, I forgot. There's like a phrase that people use for when a story is telling its story. And it's a bit too, I, I want to say supposition or something like that, but that's probably the wrong word. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of kind of that where they're just telling you the story or, or being really like, oh, there's a lot of context here, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, you could just get on with it. So that's a bit of a negative, but you can skip it. So most people probably would. Um, as I've got into it, it is quite fun. You're basically uh, running, running errands, effectively. <laughs> I turned up, I wanted to become an adventurer in this town. They were like, well, it costs 100 grand to become an adventurer, you need a license, or you could get like, 20 stamps on this card and if you're useful enough and you add enough value to the town we'll let you become an adventurer and so that's what you do you start running errands someone wants someone wants some nuts from the forest so i get them nuts someone was like my house is falling down i desperately need some wood so i got them some wood they rebuilt their house and because they were so grateful they gave me the house next door a lot of a lot of it's like what okay that doesn't make sense but i'll take it um help someone's cat that kind of thing but as i've got on it's got more story obviously more elements to it i've noticed there's you can fish in it apparently um there's more characters that join your team and they have different abilities so you can press like y and they'll take over and then they can smash through giant rocks um it's it seems cool it seems fun uh, i don't think i'm going to stream it moving forward but uh i think i'll carry on playing it just because i want to get this law um, i feel like it's do games normally this is a new thing for games to start doing releasing a completely different genre of game to feed you i know they do like accompanying phone apps but i don't think i've ever seen a game bring out a, a platform game to hype build or law set or whatever this is trying to do um it's a bit of a clever idea and, and getting it on game pass seems like a good idea but i also fear that a lot of people will play it and think, well, that was crap. Or, that, you know, if they didn't like it and then not get the next game. I feel like that's the the gamble they're going for. Like, if I said to you, oh, this is really good, go play it. And then you played it and didn't like it. You're not going to go play the RPG, are you? Depends if Pab tells me to or not, really. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I think it grew on me. It was, you know, you can upgrade your weapons. You can buy new stuff. You can, you know, there's an inn where you can go and have a massage and depending on what massage you have it up you know either means you get more experience for that day or you're more powerful for that day or you're more defensive for that day or whatever it is you know you can go and 
buy food that will give you power ups and stuff. So there's lots of depth to it. Someone came into my um, chat and said to me they've completed it and they're going to go play it on hard mode. I was like, okay, so it's good enough that you're wanting to replay it then. And they were saying, yeah, yeah, they're really enjoying it. Uh, I feel like people have it. Reviews seem to be saying it's uh, eight hours if you just play it. But if you really want, apparently there's like a hundred plus sort of quests you can do in it. There's lots of depth for just going off and running these errands. But I'm not the sort of person who's going to sit there and try and do every single one. If I get to the end of the story, that's the end of the story, you know. But um, yeah, I'm I'm pleased to see it. I feel like it's... uh, it's given some vibes. I don't think it's got all... I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for... There's a lot of like things like runes and stuff like that in uh, Sukaden that I was guessing would be in this. They have mentioned them, but I haven't seen any of that yet. Um, but they definitely... They've definitely got the element of... The thing I mentioned about the castle and meeting the people that do different things. Um, it's not exactly like that, but I have gone and got them stuff and suddenly there's an inn. Suddenly there's a... I'm helping them build a uh, clock tower and stuff like that. And so I am unlocking benefits for the town that are then making the game expand. So... I guess it's going to follow that in, in the next game as well. But yeah, it's been very cool. That was Are You Then Chronicle Rising. If you've got Game Pass, it's on there. If you've got a Switch, it's on the Switch. So it suggests that both both of them will probably see the RPG as well. And uh, that's my lot. Splendid. Before we go any further, Pabby, for goodness sake, sell me something. We need an advert. Oh, that was the best one you've done yet. Excellent work. Um, continue about your business while I carry on looking at wrestling figures on the internet. Stop looking at wrestling figures. I need more. We've talked about really? this. <laughs> I don't think anyone needs more in your position. You don't need them. Like, doesn't need any more. I like wrestling figures. Didn't you buy enough like, last I... week, Kevin? I, uh... I couldn't even supervise you and you came back with a lot of stuff that wasn't yes, pre-approved. <laughs> pre-approved brilliant most of it wasn't for me though mm. i only bought myself one uh captain marvel figure mm. everything else was for other people mm. you made you a go. day of it you were out for hours and i had a hours. lovely time i went to a cafe i watched a parade it was excellent Without me. yeah well you should have come with me rather than being broken i wasn't broken the child didn't want to go I went to both parks and the village all by myself. I hate you so much. That sounds terribly depressing. It is. I had a lovely I'd time. I sit in the flat while he went out. Monster. I went to every single shop at Disneyland Paris. Well, every I sat single in one. A flat with Andrew. So everyone had a lovely time. Mm. <laughs> did you play games while you were in there? Anna? I did not. <laughs> I was trying to segue you there, no, but okay. I don't. I took my switch. <laughs> you played loads of games this week, though. I took my switch, and I don't. I don't touch it. I don't know why. I think I just. I prefer my phone. To I just can't. worryingly, she started making noises along the lines of. So if I like the Steam Deck, I'm going to be allowed to have a go, aren't I? I tried to buy it a year ago. I wanted to order two. You know what, this Kevin? It was happening. like seven in the morning. I was trying to get a child ready for school or getting myself ready, and you're just chatting at me i need a minute and then you had then you had gone from the room so i was like what 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 what, what, what were you saying it, it was too fine early. i ordered it 6 37 p.m see oh p.m i was probably yeah. at work or something on july the 17th what last year <laughs> yeah oh, it's worked the space ordered at 607 so I had to work out why he already had his, but it's because he ordered 30 minutes before me. Oh, I see. I was That's probably mad, asleep or something after work because I don't... You weren't at work! It was July last year! <laughs> I was probably asleep because I was Probably mugging depressed. you off, Chapman. She's sick of your stuff. You would have been watching Night Garden with that small oh, I would child. Have been asleep, what then. magic beans you're trying to sell me today, old man? That's probably what she said. Oh. Sick of your stuff. Well, if you want one now, you can get one for October. Yeah, I'll have a look at yours first, and then we'll It'll be see. in time for. I need uh, a sea packaging first. Yeah, well, you should get one of those. They're great. They took it off me, sheep dog. So sad. <laughs> Why? Because it was, it was only... getting too much oxygen. No, it was just to see if I needed one. I do need one because I was having forty-four episodes a night, and I was down to one. So... Sounds like me when I was watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> 40 episodes a night. I was, I was knackered. So it was like, you do need one, but there's 50 people in front of you. And I was like, oh, yeah, about about July, August. 
Oh. Sounds like postcode lottery to me. You need to be oh. shouting that over and over again. Postcode lottery. It's so annoying. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I was, was just saying, mine was aren't quite you quick. the partner of that man who bought one and got it next day? <laughs> you told me not to, to tell her. Can't you just buy another one? You told me not to tell her. So. Yeah, because I don't want to be. Ta- I didn't want to be taken off the waiting list. Because then when they get say that there's one for me, I can go. Well, I don't need it, but I know someone who does. <laughs> no, I'm give it to you for that. But uh, I was going to say mine was quite quick, and then I realised no, I got diagnosed in 2017, and they forgot to tell me for three years. So my so mine was slightly stupid. delayed. I reckon they probably had to speed mine up. Um, I, I might have a full head of hair if I'd got that quicker. <laughs> um, but... You could have got it when you were like nine. <laughs> I might well. Stop I might have being been a Kevin. Stone lighter by now. I feel like I'm. I've def, I'm definitely uh, seeing the benefits of it a little bit. But I could have been. I could have been like four stone lighter by now if I'd got it in 2017. It's uh, it's ludicrous. Oh. I could have. I could have been an Olympian. <laughs> it's not too late. We're still going to do beach volleyball at the Olympics one day. We've already agreed on that. We have agreed. That was a sacred pact. But. Uh, Anna, have you played any games? <laughs> I have played <laughs> games, but none of them have been in the 2020 decade. Um, um, what? This you, is the you mature them in gamer life, podcast. <laughs> I've been playing older games. Uh, She's been playing Red Dead Redemption because I bought a cowboy hat and we went on a boat and we both felt like we were in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> So she came home and played it because she's a madman. Oh, I do like that. Like this, the this the game is ridiculous because then I've been like I've been playing it again on PlayStation because that's where I bought it, and I'm finding things I never, never, never seen before. It's excellent. I, I found out this guy who was doing Lee like a a botanist, and now I can make a special potion for my my horse. So yeah, it's excellent, and just going around. Just doing stuff. It's it's weird. It's just a nice, big. It's like, Is that why my other cowboy hat's in the living room? Have you been wearing it when you've been playing? Oh, I should wear it. <laughs> oh, I should. Um, but yeah, I've been playing like because I've played it before. I know what happens. And there's this one mission that I don't want to do because I know who he is, who I have to go and get, and I don't want to go and get him because. He's not a very nice man. I'm not going to say it because I don't want people to like, spoil it if they haven't played it. But I really don't want to do the mission, so I'm doing everything else by that mission because I don't, I don't want to go and help him. I, I have no interest because he's not a very nice man. But, um, yes, yeah, so I've just been going around, finding things to do, finding dinosaur bones because there was a dinosaur bone at Disney. So I, like, I remember that. I need to go and find the Disney the dinosaur bones for the lady. Yeah, it's just it's just a nice, a nice open world game that you don't really, you don't have to do any. Well, you obviously have to do the missions to progress through like the area, but you can just ride over there and go and see what's happening, or go and shoot some animals over there uh, with an arrow. I enjoy it very I've, much. I still not completed the second one, and I was just why? looking at my. Uh, this is the one well, I'm playing, number two. I was just gonna get to why. Uh, because I don't have a sofa in my office and my PlayStation is set up on the TV. Basically, when I first got the office sorted, I had two desks in an L shape and I was facing the TV if I faced a certain way. But then the, the weight of the monitors caved that table in. So I've now got a new table and the TV's behind me and I haven't got anywhere to sit to face it. Your chair so if moves, I get a chair to it? sit on. Sorry? Doesn't your chair move? I mean, yeah, this chair moves, but this, uh, this, is, this is a PC chair. It's not a lounging around chair. If I can get a chair that faces my TV, then my PlayStation's going to get the like usage of a lifetime. Just hook it up uh, to the monitor. Uh, I could do. But um, no, at some point I need to get a sofa. So or Red Dead on the, the PC, TV. like it's everywhere. You did, there's no excuse. Uh, I think it was on Game Pass. I'm not sure if it still is. But you should. I don't think I want to go down the rabbit hole of streaming Red Dead. Oh no! Don't stream it. Play it for yourself. Jeez, no! Don't, yeah. don't like, do, like you find an abandoned shack, you go in it, and I found a cigarette card that I need, and I was like, that's excellent. Like I didn't have to go in that house, but I did, and now I found a cigarette card, and now that's all mine. I can complete my because like there's there's collections upon collections in this game. It's ridiculous. Like you go to Assassin's Creed and you like you see a map and they've all pinged like with the feathers and stuff. This one you don't know where anything is nothing you just have a map and some markers of where certain things are but that's it you, you can just go on and do what what you need so i've been doing that and then i played the game from 2014 
Because I keep seeing it on my shelf and thinking, I did enjoy that game. That game was fun. And I know it's on Xbox because I know Professor's on the Xbox. So I've been playing um, Wolfenstein The New Order from 2014. It looks, it looks so good. Like, I don't know what they've done to it. Or if it looked this good back in, back in PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 area. But it looks lovely. Like, I can't fault it. It, it, it's lovely. It, it's so, like, it's so crisp and it's like I don't get it I was like how is this game from then and it looks like this good now like I don't understand but it's really good it's just it's mindless fun and I enjoy that I've played this like three or four times before I just I like going through the game like I've just done like chapter seven and in a minute I'll I'll go into a prison and then I'll go to space and then yeah there's like space yes Oh, yeah. Hang on, you, you're not Red Dead anymore, are you? No. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> did you Sorry. just, like, yeah, zone you out? You played that in Red Dead Cheek, Dog. You, no, you, you, didn't, you didn't get that far, did you not? I'm not going to lie, Anna. I, um, I saw a, 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 a Dupida had uh, spawned in Pokemon Go, which is a new Pokemon that's developed in, and I was excitedly catching it. Oh. Um, we're on we're on Wolfenstein, aren't we? I we apologize. are, yes, the new order. So <laughs> all of the Wolfenstein games are now on Xbox Game Pass because Bethesda got bought and stuff um so i'm gonna play them all again except for young blood because that was an awful awful game don't don't go down that rabbit hole because it's not worth it i didn't like it really isn't like the other games i don't know what they were thinking but i don't like young blood but i'm gonna play new order i think it's old blood and then uh colossus which is uh woman's Sign too they're just they're mindlessly fun games like i don't get it you just in Wherever you go in, I think I was in Berlin at some point, and there's the Germans have taken over and all the camps and just yeah, not very nice. Like there's Beatles songs in it that are in German. It's ridiculous. Like the album cover looks the same. It's like the same four boys, but it's in German. It's f I don't know how they got the license for that. Like, can you do that if you have a a song that's in that's can you get a song that's translated and then just like not have the license? I don't know. But it's good. So I've been playing them two games just because I just want something easy to play. And I need, yeah, that's it really. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I've been playing old games because everything is being delayed at the moment. So yay. That's me. That's all I've done. Somebody say something! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for Pam to step in. It was his cue. Me? Well, you're me? next, are you not, mister? Uh, yeah, can be. Um, so, what have I done? I, I got all... I've had a week off of podcasting and I've had nothing to do. <laughs> um, I'm at a loss with video games at the minute. Oh, no! i a loss of things to do. Uh, Pab, I promise we won't go on holiday again. It sounds like we've ruined you. It's not. Yeah. It's not. So I mean, if this the podcast would happened last week, I'd still be at a loss because I finished Elden Ring. Oh, well, hey, I finished you. it. One hundred and forty nine hours. I want to say level two hundred and seventy finishing, and now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Nothing's. There's, there's nothing to play anymore. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to do anything anymore. I, I went back and played a bit more Goodness Elden Ring. Me. I don't know what to do. Oh no! It's like uh, nothing. Just uh, it's not. It's not right, well, I'm going to tell you what to do because I'm still working through my Steam library, seeing what's here. I've made it as far as Persona Four Golden, and you've only played that for three point two hours. That's quite so good. get on that, you monster! That's a one hundred hour on game, Steam. Persona Four is, yeah. Um, is that a, is that a streamable game? Do you reckon? Yes, um, it's brilliant. Hundred hour stream. Yeah, do it. Do it. Uh, do it. Do it. Do it. That almost makes me feel like I should get a um, a Steam Deck so that I can play it because I I don't think my Vita would be up to it anymore, and it'd be too small screen, wouldn't it? 
I mean, it would st- it would still play the game the same way it always yeah. did. Well, of course it would, but I don't know that it's in... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I probably played on that for all of 20, 30 hours, that, that console. Um, it's just in a drawer in my living room. Mine's um, still in my bedside table covered in stickers. <laughs> I should probably see whether they sell for anything on the internet and then flog it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I... I've, ne- I've never played it properly. I played it for two hours and nothing happened, so I was like, mm. "Should because then we can sing the Junez song." Oh, and there you go, Steam Deck compatibility verified. Excellent. We'll be having a bit of that. Hmm. Well, speaking of games, in my desperation, um, I I've just got onto one of our podcasts from a month ago where she looks started playing <laughs> Hollow Knight. And he mm-hmm. spoke so highly of it, he convinced me. To, I was like, what have I got to lose? I've got nothing else to play at the minute. Let's try it. And then uh, played 25 minutes and stopped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. 25 minutes? How? I got bored, Sheepdog. I got, I, there's no map in the game initially, from what I could tell. And I was just yeah, You wondering... have to meet the map man. You hear him humming to himself and you have to find him. I found it's a fellow who was, was humming. I, think, I feel like I found someone yeah, who was. Yeah, that's the map man. Yeah, but he wouldn't talk to me. Going, do, 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 oh, no, I spoke to him. Was a, there was a little bug in a mine. I remember that much. Oh, no, yeah, I don't know what they do. They she was whistling away to a little nice tune. Um, there was a big, there was a big like, ladybug-looking guy who wanted to fight me with a sword or something. He just kept whacking me, so I ran away and then promptly killed him. Uh, but, yeah, I just didn't know where I was going. There was an area I couldn't physically go to because I needed a key. Uh, there was a building I could go into, but nothing was particularly going on. And I was like, I don't know Did what you... direction I'm going to be going because it's such a big, yeah. big area. To, to I could go all, like down about five or six levels, and there's about three. There's like each level as a, a left and right. And I'm like, I don't know. It has, there's got to be. A, it's got to point me in a direction at the start of this game for surely, and it and it didn't. I think just... you're right in that it doesn't. I think you do need to have someone nudge you where to go and I, I personally don't remember where you go because someone would have just told me no nope, head this direction um but i think you just sort of top I, left i want to say i, I feel I like, I, like I, I explored I, I the main area i went, I went, went as far left as i could until it stopped me and i went down a level and i went across and then it went and that that went all the way one way all the way left and then then i turned back and went okay so i'm back in like the the starting big room sort of thing i think and you go down again, and then I fell off a platform, and I went all the way down to the very bottom. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't go left anymore here, so I'm going to go right now. I was like, well, there's like about three or four rights that I could have gone in along this, this in this. I was like, ah, turn this off. This is just, it's, it, not having a map at the start is just frustrating. And I know it's, it's probably simple, and I've just missed it at some point, but it, it was just frustrating. And, and yeah, Because the problem is that's like the the sort of middle place and then there's just about i don't know 15 or more offshoots that yeah are like a there's a little yeah. town there's a big foresty area there's a I found like a town where place. i had to go in a well or something i had to go down into the mine oh, that's up the top no yeah, yeah. That's, that's just the the start kind of thing but yeah. um yeah no i i would maybe maybe you need to just find a guide if you ever wanted to do it or someone listening wanted to do it i feel like just a guide that gives you little nudges without spoilers. Not that there's that many spoilers, but once you get into it and you've kind of got a few places, it does just feel much more like you're exploring and it's fun and, you know. But I I, I used to laugh logging in because it would show my first attempt where I tried to play it and I literally played 15 minutes and turned it off. Mm-hmm. And then the time that I've played it and there's been someone sat there just giving me a nudge if I get lost and I put in like nearly 40 hours, I think, of it. I played a lot of this game. And uh, I'm at a point now where I can just, I know I can get around. And um, I think what I liked about it is, yeah, at the moment you're just a guy with a, with a little nail sword thing and you can't really do very much, but you you unlock so many moves that help you just jump up walls and stuff. It's very satisfying. Just you bouncing up a wall and uh, you're shooting the across thing. the screen. Yeah. The other thing is you start off very, you don't, you don't, you're not very powerful. You don't, you have no, a yeah. jump and a, and a swing. That's about it. And it, there's, I know there's more to it, and but it's like it's just frustrating enough to be the point where you're like, when you fall off a platform and you fall like four or five down, and you've like got to work your way <clears> back <throat> up it, and you're like, oh, oh, uh, no, 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 I've had enough. 
Um, but yeah, I've done. I've done. Just I've just kind of floated around games, just trying to trying them. Kev last time mentioned Dorf Romantic came out, and I tried that again. No, it's that it's out out, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it is out out. It was good. I I found I I found myself I lost myself to like probably about ninety minutes to that. I just just like it's just yeah that is a that is a time suck game where you can literally just disappear. An evening can go just like instantly. You don't realize you spent three hours just just spinning tiles around, putting them down to this nice chill out music and oh. That is a good game. If that one's on a Steam Deck, I'd be worried because I, I feel like I'd be in bed. Just, just looked; it's not Steam Deck verified, which is a little sad. I will obviously try it and see if it works. Yeah, because I feel like I would uh, I would lose a lot of time to that game. Just feel like oh, I can't go to sleep. Okay, let's get this, get a Steam Deck out and we'll uh, we'll play four hours of <laughs> North Romantic instead. Um, yeah, is that I'd on like the that Steam game. Deck then? It, I mean, it's not verified, uh... but it will probably work. Most stuff will probably work on it, but it's just not verified. Basically, if it's got controller support, it will probably work on the Steam Deck. Cool to know. Yeah, you'd like, you'd like. Yeah, I assumed it would have. I'd like to it for it to have been out on like an iPad by now, or, or maybe well, even I guess Switch. that'll be the next plan. It, yeah, it's only no, it's, it's literally out. come out like two weeks ago on PC. Yeah. So I imagine the next step. I think reading about it, it's made by just one guy on his own. Mm. Mm. So I guess he's got this version up and running, and now he'll, if it sells well, start working on others. I guess. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully, because it is a it's a very good game. I enjoyed uh, enjoyed my time with it. Uh, what else have I been? I went back. To, I've just been a, a time of going back. There's not been anything particularly out that I want, um, but I did. There is um, there's a new DLC pack for Beat Saber, and I've been playing. So I've got back into that again. Um, there's now a electronic mixtape out, um, which immediately sold me on it because it had Darude Sandstorm on it, and I went, oh, "All right, just, that's just funny. I'm gonna get that. That's just cool." Um, immediately realized i can't do that song <laughs> that song is hardcore that is seriously a difficult level to do i'll beat it at some point i will but my word is it hard um what else have you got on there you got some uh fat boy slim is on there and some other different things just some cool songs on there but it encouraged me to get back into it and today today in fact i i put i've wet i've Dip my toes into expert rather than I moved it off of hard difficulty oh, and put it onto fancy. expert. I I don't know. It's it's I, I I did it because I did it because the song I was I was I was playing. I thought I know this song in and out now on hard difficulty, and it's it's relatively slow. It's okay. I was like, right, let's just put it up and see what it does. And I got through it, and I was I surprised myself. I then promptly forgot to take it off expert, and then played it and played the next song. I was like, this is bloody hard. What's going on? What happened here? And then realised I was playing on expert. Um, but I did okay, so I might be finally getting to the stage where I can play expert. I mean, I don't. It's not. It's not. It's not graceful. It's just me flailing around, just frantically, just swinging for these things and I'm just getting lucky I think but um, Beat Saber continues to be very good very very good um, what else have I played oh I tell you what I did do I was it was this evening so I was literally looking for stuff for the podcast I was like what do I what shall I play and I turned the PC on and I looked through my stuff and I went I, don't, I just don't want to play anything I genuinely don't want to play anything I think Elden Ring has proper broke me mm -hmm. it seriously broke me um, and then I remembered I've got a the mini golf game on in VR. I was like, you know, what, I just let's put the headset back on, and I let's play some walkabout mini golf, which I mentioned probably about a month or two ago. Um, and damn, is that a good game? I just played in like the Highlands map, just a mini golf course, and it's just got some 
nice like Highland kind of music going and just like you can hear the wind whistling around you and you just wander about the, the, the mini golf course all, all over these like Highland mountains type things and just, just playing a game of mini golf and then I did the same again I did the same course again but I did it in multiplayer I played against someone and they didn't speak to me or anything, but they kind of waved at me and they just they just took turns in playing mini golf. And that was nice. That was a very chill evening that I've had tonight, just playing mini golf. I didn't realize I spent like about an hour, hour and a half in, in mini golf tonight, but it was, um, it was nice. It was nice to play something a bit different. And I do like mini golf games, so it was, <laughs> uh, it was. <laughs> It was, uh, it was... Sounds it was like good. this is right up your street, It was then. good. It was, it was good. I, 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 the other thing I found is that I find the mini golf in it is fine and whatever, but the, the other thing is you have to find, like, missing golf balls and you unlock different colours for your golf balls by just finding random ones all over the world sort of thing. So you just can't, I find myself just wandering about the world just looking for looking for golf balls around and then you, you can suck them up and then you, you get that golf ball. At the end of the, looking the, at wandering around the world looking for balls to suck <laughs> always your game that is you're um, a monster so yeah it's um it's just it's just cool it's cool and there's like loads of dlc there's loads of different um levels right now so i'm probably gonna find myself buying different courses for it now it's like two quid a course or something like that. i was like oh i can find it. i can see myself doing this at some point um but yeah, that has been it, really. Like I say, I'm not really. I've, I've done me. I've started playing more Fortnite again now. I've I haven't got Elden Ring to play. I've started. I've, I've started playing Apex again because the new season of Apex came out um, this past week. Oh my word, has that changed? There's a whole new map, <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then I, I, I died a lot in that game. I didn't. I wasn't doing much at all. Um, but Fortnite continues to be Fortnite. We're well into the season now. Um. Had a good wander around the map, had a look around, and know no most of the places now on the, the Fortnite. I tried building again. Building was weird again. After doing no builds for most of the last few weeks, I tried just to, it build mode again, and I was like, oh, this feels weird. This feels weird now, and it's going to break me when they eventually take no build out, and build mode just becomes the default again. It's like, oh, I've got to relearn it all again after, after losing it all for... A few weeks, but uh, other than that, yeah, pretty much like I say, Elder Ring has been the only thing that has has kept my attention. And I'd, I'd like I say, odds are I will start again. Odds are I will start again on Elden Ring on New Game Plus because What's, I'm already. Um... Sorry, go on, mate. No, go on. You're good. As I say, what is the next big game? Because that was like the oh, game. That's the it? thing. I don't genuinely don't know. I mean, I've got Horizon sat here that I haven't touched. I've started. I've just got out, the, out into the into the open world. So... Um, and I will. I'm planning on going back to that at the end of the month um, uh, because I'm not going to be. I'm going to be away from my PC for a week. I'm going to stay at my dad's for a week um, at the end of the month. Um, so I'm. All, I'm just, I think I'm just going to take the PlayStation with me, and then I'm just going to play a load of Horizon for the week. That's the plan until I get annoyed with it, and then mm -hmm. I'll buy Elden Ring on the PS5 probably. <laughs> I don't know, um, but yeah. So I, I genuinely don't... That's the thing, because loads of games are just getting pushed out and pushed out similar to, like, the start of this year. Everything's getting pushed into, like... Like, the start year. of next year now, yeah. yeah. It is, like, Q4 of this fiscal year, isn't it? So it's all getting pushed right to the end of the, end of the fiscal. So I, I, that's the thing. I don't have any, like... There's nothing... I can think of that I want right now. I was thinking, I was thinking I would probably I would play Starfield, but that's about it. I was like, well, not, not now. Cancelled, not cancelled, but twenty twenty three. Yeah, it's been pushed. Which overall is it's probably if it's, if they're not ready, it's not ready. It's you no. don't want to rush it, so so it is what it is, but. But what's yeah, coming, nothing. that's the problem. <laughs> well, not problem, but gives us time to... EAFC is coming. Uh... That's what's coming. Oh, goody. Right. <laughs> oh, goody. Forget FIFA. <clears throat> it's all about EAFC now, boys and girls. Mm. There's genuinely people saying that that's the end of it for them. And <laughs> it's like... It's yeah, people the, are morons. Name, you weirdos. Um, 
You obviously got new Pokemon games coming out at the end of the year. And you think they'll be Scarlet good? Scarlet and Violet. Of course they'll be good. Sword and Shield were great games. Yep. I mean, I'm annoyed at myself for getting banned from the Twitch over ranting about them before I'd played them. Lesson learned there. Um, but I'm really looking forward to these ones. Okay. You do like a rant. I do, but lesson learned. I've grown. Well, I guess that uh, that brings us to the end of proceedings then. We've established Sheepdog mm -hmm. has grown. Um, if no one has got any more to add, we will wrap things up there. As ever, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can do that uh, by following at MGUK Podcast, or you can follow me at Lelujo. At RB6K. I'm at Miss Lelujo. And I'm at Pub1986. And we will see you next week, boys and girls. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening, folks.